Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to focus on Trevenant EX and support people like Septel and Jiraji. Because Jiraji comes in pretty clutch. So today we're going to try out the new a new EX as well. This one's going to be Trevenant. It's going to be focusing on Trevenant. It's going to be a deck revolving around Trevenant EX. Uh, for one energy, it does Dark Forest, does 20, and a defending Pokemon can retreat. It's pretty good, especially if you can get, get a, a Hypnotic Laser on him, or maybe he has some kind of hefty retreat cause and he can't stay out there or if he's weak to grass you know dark force is actually a pretty good attack the second attack is um is wood blast 50 base and then 20 for every grass energy attached to him it's kind of like caldeo ex's sacred sword except for the only, real, the only main difference in this one is caldeo does not have an energy uh caldeo has energy acceleration as and while well, trevor does not uh, he he did get one in this new um expansion though in the form of Sceptal. And Sceptal is going to be our support Pokemon of this deck. It's going to be using Nature and Heal. Once during your turn, you may attach a Grass Energy card from your hand to one of your Pokemon. If you do, heal 30 damage from that Pokemon. The healing part isn't as important as the attaching another Energy card. So that's why I really wanted Sceptal. I really want to once run him. And that's where one of the problems of this deck revolves around. It's a stage 2, so we have to run a consistent line of Tricos and Rare Candies and Grovals. The fact that it's a stage two is what kind of harbors a deck, this deck a little bit, but not too much. If you can get him out second turn like an Embor camera up deck, you're pretty doing a pretty good solid amount of um, damage, and you'll be doing pretty fairly well. You're doing fairly well. We have this other subtile, the Ancient One, the Omega Barrier for um, counters. Uh, it's more or less a tech card. It's gonna be used against Swaycoon most often, or um, Maybe Pyroars if you can get you can get them ready in one hit if you have two set tails out there. Um, he's gonna be used for basically for powers. We have plenty of cards here, uh, plenty of st um, support cards. But just in case you don't have a support card, but you have an Ultra Ball. We have Jirachi here for that consistency. Jirachi EX is pretty, pretty good EX in terms of its ability. As far as attacks or um, HP, not so great. But that ability though, we have two energy retrievals because. Most likely, these, these big bad boys won't be going down anytime soon. They, if you're having a if you're against a camera deck or a fire deck, it's pretty much an auto loss. You might want to incorporate some weakness policies in here, something like that, to just keep them alive. But you won't be these bad boys won't be going on too much. But when they do, you can energy retrieval back the energy they had on them. Escape rope, more or less, just if they get if they catch out a uh, septile or Jirachi out, and they want to stall. The lasers are for the dark force and also for stalling. Uh, Professor's Letters, of course, Professor's Letter is going to be for gaining energies into your hand. We have four rare candies, and that's a lot. And we also have two Grovel. We're pretty much going to make sure we at least get one or the other in our hands at, at any point in time when we have a Chico. Um, two switches because this bad boy over here has a hefty retreat cost. It's the same amount as the attack, so I don't want to just get rid of energy for no reason. Uh, so I run two switches to try to avoid that's that same. Um, problem for ultra balls to always get out things that we need to get out uh, two versus seekers to get support cards from the discard pile we don't have too much support cards in this in this deck we do run quite a bit though but just in case you need a sycamore a birch or an end you got that versus seeker one last hander for the stalls or for the um the game they have that he has that ex in that corner just taking up space i guess and N, two ends because I like ends, and I'm starting to favor Birch a little more, so I have two Birches. I'm starting, probably going to run them in every deck, uh, about two. Uh, four Sycamores, uh, Teammates is that tech card I really enjoy, it's it's a really good supporter card. And then Zero Sick, just in case for they put a Head Ringer on me, or if they have an Energy or an Item card that I don't want them to have, kind of thing. Two Verbings for the Lasers and for Dark Forest, like a cool combo. Uh, muscle bands for the Trevenant just in case you need to get an extra 20 more damage on the Pokemon. It's like a free grass energy attachment. And then you have 10 grass energies. It, I, will, I feel safe with 10. You can run a little less up to you, but 10 seems like a good number for me. So yeah, that's this deck. It's it's uh, pretty much, you can run different cards with this, but I want to I wanna emphasize Trevenant and the new Pokemon in this set, which would be Sceptile. Um, and for consistency reasons, I have Jirachi. But I wanted to like basically make a primal clash, like show the cards that are in it and how you can how they can be used. So that's why I had to incorporate uh, Septiles 
um, and Trevenant. And so that's it's a pretty good deck. Um, I'm gonna show I'm gonna show a video of how this deck fares against another deck. All right. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. All right. So we're going against a steel deck. So most likely Bronzong Agron or Bronzong Diago or Bronzong Diago Agron. You know. So luckily you always want to go first this deck. Hope, um, luckily I always get the yeah. So Bronzong. Luckily, I always get the um, the coin flip right. Uh, you want to go first because you evolve a lot, and so and besides, it slows down his bronze on, which is always good. So we start with we have a good trepan on hand, but see how we have no supporters. That's good because we got an ultra ball, and I'm drawing extra card. Ooh, laser. It's not bad. Laser always good to start off with. I'm going. I'm saying. I'm thinking. I want to keep it because I can use it as you know, trade um, ultra ball, like fuel. So there it is, Dialga. Surprisingly, no bench. So, you know, so many here got not a great hand. I'm gonna get the hit the laser off because he's got the steel stadium, so I might as well get some residual damage at least. Um, I'm gonna ultra ball for some grass energies. I mean, Professor Lyrus, I'm sorry. So, I'm gonna discard one and probably, yeah, the, um, and get Drachi out and then use Stellar Guidance. Uh, so, yeah, I'm gonna get use the ability and probably get a N. And it's always good. I want. I don't want to stick more uh, um, the Setel. So we got a Verbink and we got a Groval and a Professor Birch. So we're looking pretty good. We got a Rare Candy, so hopefully we can get uh, a Setel on the turn on, on the next draw card. We're, we're looking pretty good. So there's a 30 damage. There's still Stadium, like I said, you know. So we don't. Oh, it's an end, end. It's not bad. Uh, rare Candy again. So And I got Ultra Ball, so we got some options. Um, a Bronzor. Uh, it's the start of his deck. So we got another Sycamore. So, you know, we only have four of those. I don't know how I'm drawing into those. But it's not, they're not a completely bad hand. It's also got the Versus Seeker. So I'm just thinking of how to do this, how to play this without risking too much cards in, in my total hand. The Hit of the Laser became useless now because it's still Stadium. I don't run too much Counter Stadium, so the odds of me getting the Verbing pretty quick are pretty much non existent. Um, but, so I'm going to use it as just trade. And as um, I don't know what I call it trade bait. I'm going to use it as Ultra Ball bait. And then bam, get a Sceptile in the in the zone there. I don't know if it's Verse Seeker or should just Sycamore. I am trying to click my discard pile, but I can't. It won't let me click it. I'm not sure why. So it, it kind of like influences my decisions. But I just Sycamore. I didn't get another uh, Grass Energy, which is kind of a shame. But I did get a Muscle Band, so it's kind of like attaching Grass Energy. I was hoping to draw the first letter at least or something, but 40. So next turn he's looking to get knocked out. However, if he does do Chrono Win, I believe it's the move what it's called. I can use that trip not to attack, which isn't too bad. Chrono Win doesn't let your EX Pokemon attack the one he does it to though. So if I can switch out, that's fine. We did get the other Sceptile. It's it's mostly that as a tech card. It's nothing else besides just oh another rare candy game. If we can get out of Trico, but I did get some gas energies this time. Another end. Hmm. I'm just checking, making sure. Uh, I wasn't exactly sure if, if it was just all EX Pokemon or just me, because if not, I'll just start attacking with Jungle Fever. Luckily, that didn't happen. So I'm just thinking what to do. I'm thinking that he wasn't able to do the next turn if I zero sick the special energy. So I can buy essentially buy a turn. I'm attached to the other Trevenant, though. Uh, Nature and Heal to the other Trevenant, I believe. Yes. So now I have two Trevenants essentially ready. And that's pretty good, you know, that Jungle Fever, or it's not called Jungle Fever, I don't know why I'm saying that. Uh, that ability, Nature and Heal, is really good. I, I like it. It, it, it it's, not, it's for Stage 2, it's really good, but the fact that it's a Stage 2 kind of makes it a hassle. So he's going to Poke Fan Club, I'm assuming he's not drawing it into his Bronzors, so he's going to get his Bronzors out. Um, now things are looking kind of dim because I have one, but he has three technically attachers. So he's gonna Ultra Ball four, yeah, Bronze Zong. He's gonna switch. Oh, he's gonna touch another double colorless. All right, gonna win again. So the reason why, yes, I think when you have one, I can't tell. Yeah. The reason why I, um, oh, I'm sorry. The reason why I was hoping for that special energy was I hoping he didn't have it again. But the reason why I stocked up the other Trevor so I can have it ready. 
for the next attack. So yeah, sorry I blinked out there, I'm not sure what I was, I was thinking about something else I guess. So yeah, so he's got one Diago pretty much ready, it does have some damage on it, and then he's got support Pokemon. So it's not too bad. We did get a switch, which is good because it saves energy. So I'm going to go and switch. Uh, I'm going to touch Mushroom Band because Mushroom Band is kind of the added thing. I should have um, Nature and Healed onto the other weak um, damage trap now, but eh, can't win them all. So we're looking pretty good. He's got nothing else ready, nothing else that can take um, on Trevor out that quickly. So there's a heat right now. Uh, you can only touch twice to it unless he evolves. So he's got a heat run going, and heat run's particularly not the strongest steel Pokemon, but it's a pretty good card. I'm just checking real quick how much it does. Um, it's not bad. It's a good card. In, in terms of like non EX attackers, it's a really good card. I was thinking about escape roping it out, but the odds of him putting it out were not that great. He's most likely gonna put the other bronzer out. So let's go nature and heal heal the damaged Trevenant and then put, attach my actual energy to the real Trevenant or I'm thinking I might have to use another attacker, but I think Trevenant would be just okay to do. I'm not exactly sure. Trevenant does do enough to knock out, so I don't really need to attach excessively over to the same Trevenant. The other one's just trying to get healed up on just in case any other EX Pokemon come out. So he puts out the other Bronzor. So I'm assuming he doesn't even have it on his hand. But the Hiran will be ready, I believe, this turn. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, yeah, so it's gonna, he's gonna touch manually. Oh, he's gonna end me. So, like I said, not a bad card to end, too. I got at least a, at least a supporter. That's always good. He's gonna battle compress for, I guess, metal energy. I'm not exactly sure. I, I don't run, I, didn't, I never ran uh, Diago EX or Bronze on. I wanted to, but I never did, so I'm not exactly sure what's in the deck besides your attackers and the usual support characters. Uh,. I don't know they ran Battle Compressor. So yeah, there's always those. Let's see. So he does steel, steel Blast, I believe, for 130. It's all attack. Let's see, so now I'm loading up everybody up. So I'm getting the same trim out ready twice. And that's what I love about it. I only got one Sceptile too, so imagine I had another one. Else, also, I don't have that much energy to begin with. But. I'm getting one Sceptile ready. I'm, I'm, I'm getting one Trevenant ready while I'm getting the other Trevenant ready. So it looks like it's pretty much game. I don't think there's anything else. Oh, but there's teammates. So teammates is a thing. And I actually like teammates. It's a really good card. Whenever you get knocked out, you can search for any card you want. So teammates is coming. I don't know what he's going to get though. Maybe he has a bronze on his hand and he can get Diago. I know he's getting, I know he's getting an EX. Ah, there you go. I was getting EX for sure. He loads up. He evolves. So there we go. Diago is ready. In pretty much a turn. Which is really good. And so he knocks out my Trevenant. Uh, I'm just making sure I do enough damage. And so I got my other Sceptile. Yay, yay. It's so technically can attach three times a turn. Which is good. I only have two energies to attach at this point in time. But, you know. It's not bad. Uh, I want to check my discard pile, I believe. Oh, I'm just nature and healing. And the guy says he likes my deck. Uh, and that is grass is his favorite, which is pretty cool. Grass is not my favorite, though. Uh, unfortunately, fire type Pokemon on fire decks are my favorite. So, uh, but grass is not. But I did like Trevenant in the video game. I play. Uh, I like him in the video game, so I decided to at least make him. Also, like Sceptile in the video game. Uh, I have a, I have a Mega Sceptile team pretty much in the video game uh, or us so I decided to make a deck with them because I like them. I'm hoping I get another grass energy out. Uh, I think I do well enough but you know you never get to be too safe. So 210 to Diago EX and that's that's how this deck flows if it flows right. You, you can have options. I still have rare candies so you might want to limit back on the rare candies if you decide to run this deck. I'm not sure. I just like to be overly safe. So there you go, Diago EX, taken down by Trevor Knight EX. Um, so yeah, hope you guys like that deck. Uh, thank you guys for watching.